with that, we see the fires lit, the engines start to roar and lift off. Scott Tingle, Anton Shkaplerov, and Nora Sheehy Kenai on their way to the International Space Station. Anton Shkaplerov already calling down everything going well on board, everything reported fine. Performance calls coming in, the engines performing nominally or normally. Getting good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from those four boosters and that single core engine. The first stage measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter is going to burn liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds into the flight. Still getting good performance calls. The crew feeling good as they light up the sky over there in Baikonur. Again, it's a clear day, so we should get pretty spectacular views of the rocket as it makes it eight, its eight minute, 45 second climb into orbit. Already more than one minute, 45 seconds into the flight. Everything's still going well with the rocket. And just there, we see the first stage separating those four strap-on boosters breaking away. Their job completed, dropping away. The, rocket in an altitude already of about 28 statute miles. And you can see them making what's known the Koryov Cross. The four engines slowly going to make their way back down here to Earth. The vehicle now being propelled by the core stage traveling over 3,300 miles an hour already. Getting confirmation that the, the shroud has been jettisoned. The rocket is about 48 miles in height already. Also getting views still inside the cabin. You can see a quick wave. At this point, the vehicle is traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour. And again, the second stage, that core stage performing as expected. It measures 56 feet in length. 13 and a half feet in diameter with that single engine and four fuel chambers getting a wave and a thumbs up from Norishigi Kanai there. Sitting in the right seat making his first flight into orbit today along with Scott Tingle. The seasoned veteran in the middle there, Anton Shkaplerov, overseeing the rocket's flight into orbit. Again, under that second stage right now, we're already three minutes and 50 seconds since the liftoff. And then in this animation, you can see the rocket as it continues to climb to orbit. That second stage uh, with the single engine and four fuel chambers provides between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on the altitude for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. It's going to continue burning for about 30 more seconds, and then it's going to use what's again known as a hot stage technique, where the third stage is actually going to ignite while the second is still burning. That's why it has that lattice-like structure between the two stages, an open area between the second and third. And now standing by for that hot staging and the separation of the second stage. 
and the visiting vehicle officer confirming the second stage has separated, confirmed the booster separating at an altitude of about 105 miles. It's now being propelled by the single engine of the third stage, that providing 67,000 pounds of thrust, and it's going to burn for another four minutes and two seconds. That's going to put them into their preliminary orbit. So this is the third and final stage of this flight. Getting great views inside the cabin, seeing Scott Tingle and Anton Schkapler off. Everything going great so far. In that cabin view, you can see dangling from the top that it's a stuffed animal uh, that is a dog that was from Anton Schkaplerov's daughter, and that's going to be our zero-G indicator. So once their flight is complete, you'll actually see that start to float along possibly with some of the papers in the cabin. That's how they know they've made it into their preliminary orbit. Getting good reports from the crew, everyone feeling great. Six minutes into the flight. So we're six and a half minutes so far into the flight, everything going great. The first and second stages of the rocket performing without any issues before dropping away, now being propelled by the third stage. Still getting reports, all the control systems on the vehicle operating nominally or normally. The third stage still has about a minute and 45 seconds to go before it gets ready to cut off and separate. And once that third stage delivers the Soyuz into orbit, a number of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for flying around in low Earth orbit. And that'll uh, include deploying the solar arrays and a number of navigational antennas on the top of the vehicle. Seven and a half minutes and counting up from liftoff. At this point, the vehicle traveling at a velocity of almost 13,500 miles an hour. And we're a little over eight minutes since the launch. The crew on station getting the call. The three new crew members are well on their way already. The third stage continuing to fire should have another 20 seconds or so. And then we might see a little bit of a jolt for these crew members inside as the third stage cuts off and separates. Standing by in the next couple of seconds for third stage shutdown. And we missed it a bit in the video there, but getting a little kick, the third stage confirmed to be separated. And good news from the visiting vehicle officer, all of the antennas and the solar arrays deployed successfully. So confirmation of spacecraft separation coming at an altitude of about 126 or 125 statute miles. The third stage does an avoidance maneuver by opening a valve on its liquid oxygen tank and drops away back down towards the Earth. And for now, the Soyuz capsule, the crew inside, safely in orbit. 
all of those automatic commands done successfully. The antenna's out, the solar arrays extended. And the vehicle not having any issues now in its orbit and now ready for its two-day chase down of the International Space Station.